son of a b <laughs> The things you wouldn't believe if you were a kid and they told you you were going to do as an adult. So you're going to be 38 and you're going to yell son of a b <laughs> and you're going to be with Scooby-Doo and the gang. <laughs> <laughs> Castiel? Yeah, he, he, he's a friend of ours. Uh, Cass, the Scooby Gang. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> can, we, can, we, can we do it straight let's, away? Let's just do it right away. Let yeah. me, let me do. Dean is, is super excited. Oh, heck yes. Whatever universe he kind of finds himself in, he quickly adapts. <laughs> Is that all you're gonna do? Eat? Relax. In a few minutes, we're gonna find out that Cousin Simple's missing. The Scoobies are gonna think that it's a ghost, but really, it's just the lawyer Cosgo creeps in disguise. <laughs> Told you. Wonderful. I once led armies, and now I am paired with a scruffy teenager and a talking dog. All right, right away. Right away, but uh, <laughs> guidance, guys, anything specific? Can we do an alt on Misha's line where instead of teenager, make it, make it a scruffy burnout? Or I, I'm not sure exactly what... Uh... Burnout is a bit negative connotation. Is there another thing that's just silly about scruffy... Uh... And we don't have a talking dog. I don't know. I mean, Cass is kind of like a talking dog. Now, how do I look? Two-dimensional. Perfect. <laughs> Animated weaponry stashed in the back. We're showing the Impala. Sam picks up the shotgun, um, hands it to Thelma. Dean snatches it away. Sam, are you crazy? They can't use this stuff. That's a Scooby Don't. We don't know the first thing about fighting real ghosts. We don't have the proper tools or weapons. That's okay. We do. Oh. Whoa. Here, Velma, take this. Sam, are you crazy? They can't use this stuff. That's a Scooby Don't. Maybe it's an angel thing, right? Or, or, or the trickster. He's dead. Or is he? Or is he? Or is he? Or is he? Something like that. Yeah, that's great. This, this, uh, you saw that light. Did we just get sucked into the TV? Or maybe this is an angel thing. Or, or the trickster. No, he's dead. Or is he? I think there was a, a little bit of dramatics kind of added to it for for the you know the vocalization of the characters, uh, and, and it's in the script as well. Like it, we're we're yeah. a bit more animated. It kind of describes Dean. us to to be so. Not just because um, we're animated. Ah, you're, you're a cartoon. cartoon. I'm, I'm a cartoon. Scruffy, sir, scruffy, scaredy cat. Scruffy, we'll do tweaker. <laughs> Cass? Like you know this guy? Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's a friend of ours. Neato! Castiel, the Scooby Gang. <laughs> Castiel, it sounds like a great Italian pizza place. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sam, Dean. This dog is talking. Yep. And what about the Black Knight, hmm? Mamba Wamba, the space kook? Oh, I knew it! You love this show. I love Scooby-Doo. So, I guess this is your first mystery. So, if you could keep those giant linebacker shoulders from knocking over any clues, that would be great. Why do you keep talking about my shoulders? Oh, I, uh, uh, hmm, ah. Uh, the other writer pitched Philistine. <laughs> no, that's actually funnier. <laughs> ah, perfect. Wonderful. I once led armies, and now I'm paired with a scruffy Philistine and a talking dog. <laughs> <laughs> We've had outside writers come in every once in a while. Usually the staff does have to do a lot of work because they're outside writers. They're not going to know all the nuances of the show. This was such its own thing and such a special thing and such a distinctive thing 
the ideas they came in with were the... <laughs> so, I was right. I told you, you big lug. There's no such thing as the supernatural. Hmm? Looks like you were right, and now we know. Sorry, what? Oh, it's just subtext. But then again, you know, you can't spell subtext without S-E-X. Break it, Scooby Gang. Dean gets very excited, needless yeah. to say. I'm not even sure why you're there. Come on now, that's okay. not what this is about. Come on. Just questions I ask myself. Thoughts? Awesome. Tell you uh, what, if we keep if we do supernatural like this, we'll, we'll be gun smoke. I'll, I'll do thirty seasons. <laughs> uh, uh, I know. What did y'all think about Scooby Doo? We've been fighting because it was kind of more seen. We've been fighting to cross over with every animated show, and that's sort of like a it's it's a multi pronged attack on our part because a it means we get to finish an episode and like three days instead of eight, and B, it's just fun. Like, we got to watch it in the, uh, the Dolby Theater, which was kind of bizarre, because, you know, the Oscars were there one week, and then a week and a half later, it was us, like, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> 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 Dean, what just did... Ah! Ah! You're, You're a, a cartoon. cartoon! I'm, I'm a cartoon! cartoon. Uh, is this... Okay, okay, okay. This is a dream. It's got to be a... <laughs> Dude! It's not a dream. Just think about it. We do the same thing. We go to spooky places. We solve mysteries. We fight ghosts. Yeah, except our ghosts don't wear masks. And we don't have a talking dog. Very, very cool, though, so I'm glad you liked it. I can't figure it out. You should do a Simpsons. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they have almost as many episodes as we do. <laughs> um, the only longer running show. Yeah. Super. Where are we, uh, where are we, uh, I can't see anybody. It's, 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 ah. Hello. Hi. Enchanté. I'm being nervous right now, thank you. Um, so, we all know that Dean takes wherever he wants, uh, especially with girlfriends. So, what went wrong with Daphne? Fred! Fred went wrong! So, Daph, I usually don't have to do this, but what do you look for in a guy? Oh, I don't know. Strong, sincere, and an ascot wouldn't hurt. Not so fast! Is that an ascot? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, it, it was lined up, good to go, and then Ascot Boy has to walk in and ruin things. Um, it's all right, I don't hold a grudge. Um, yeah. I think they should probably do another episode where, you know... Yes, I think that too. Dean closes the deal. Or Daphne closes the deal. I mean, where you want to look at it, you know. This is 2018. Um, yeah, thank you. Nice, thank you nice outfit. I've been doing a show for 13 seasons now. As an actor, what's been the most OMG moment for you? Like, I get to do this, or like, we're doing, you know, this happens in the storyline. Okay, so that's question. Right here, right now. Okay. Yeah. Good answer. Look, if you've seen this episode, why, why can't we just skip to the end? Because well, sometimes it's about the journey, and not the destination. Who's excited for the episode that airs this week? Okay, well you should be. To all youths who didn't raise your hand, got my eyes on you. Uh, yeah, we got a uh, we got a cool one happening this week. How many of you uh, were there? Any? I know there were a few people that actually attended the Paley Fest this past week. Uh, okay, very few of you. Um, woo! 
they got a uh, they got a cool sneak preview uh, of of the episode, and uh, it was. Jared and I got to sneak in and watch it with, uh, well, actually a few of us got to sneak in and watch it with an audience that was um, a little, maybe a little larger than this crowd here. Yeah. And uh, it was, it was awesome. It was yeah. certainly an experience that we had not had. Growing up on the road, no matter where dad dragged us, no matter what we did, there was always a TV. And you know what was always on that TV? Scooby and the gang. These guys... They're our freaking role models, man. Except Fred, he's a wad. I actually found myself laughing at it, legitimately, like laughing at it like a TV show as opposed to... Well, you also have to understand, there was the first time we'd seen it too, yeah. and we had, we'd only seen renderings of the, of the animation, so we had not seen the animation put to life with our voices behind it and that whole thing. So, and this was stuff that we recorded over a year ago. Uh, it's taken them this long to... That's how long it takes to, for the animation, the whole process. So um, it was... Uh, yeah, it was a pretty... Pretty awesome experience. And, uh, so anyway. for those who didn't see it, we're excited for y'all to see it on Thursday. It's going to be fun. Hey, Jensen. What's up? Hey. Yes. Yellow fever, cat. You want one of those? Try one. <laughs> we'll use that somewhere. If that guy can die for real in this cartoon, that means we can too. Doesn't matter if we die. Scooby Doo could die. And that's not happening. Not on my watch. I'll take a bullet for that dog. Thursday, March 29th, the Winchesters get animated. Ah, you a cartoon. I'm a cartoon. We're in Scooby Doo. That's the Scooby Gang. Dibs on Daphne. Supernatural. All new Thursday, March 29th on the CW. I brought these, so let's talk about them. Tell me a little bit about uh, about these folks. You're with Velma. I'm a, I'm a bookish person myself, so I feel her. She's my girl. Great working with you, Velma. You too, Sam. <laughs> Those shoulders, jinkies. Should have known Velma was good to go. It's always the quiet ones. <laughs> Will you give me 295? Yep. But how? We don't know the first thing about fighting real ghosts. We don't have the proper tools or weapons. That's okay. We do. Uh, all right. Straight away, any thoughts? Yeah, yeah, yeah good. Uh, anything for Velma? <laughs> we don't know the first thing about fighting real ghosts. We don't have the proper tools or weapons. That's okay. We do. But I, uh, I can't wait. This is a weird dream of mine. What? I don't know. You all right? No, I think I... Man, I had a weird dream. Yeah? Clowns or midgets? You know, I remember auditioning for the Scooby-Doo movie, the live-action movie, and I was totally wrong for it. And Matt Lillard, who's amazing, got the job. I'm a big fan of his, so I was like, bravo, my friend. But when I moved to Los Angeles 18 years ago, I had recorded uh, VHS cassettes uh, for the Millennials. That was an old thing. Giant, you'd push it in, you couldn't skip. Um, so it's, it's been a long time. If I would have dared to dream this big, I would have, I would have dreamt it. A malt shop. Really? Look, let's just head in, ask around, see what we can see. Oh my god. Th that, 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 that's, uh, that's... That's the mystery machine. We're not just in any cartoon. We're in Scooby-Doo. Oh, oh damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, oh damn. <laughs> oh, hot potato. What I... was your initial reaction, like, when you first watched the Scooby Natural episode? After making it, so the first time I saw, I think the first time we both saw it was at Man's Chinese Theater. Yeah. Um, it was. There have been a few. Uh, <clears throat> we have a few moments on set that are private. He and I, or he and I, and Misha, or whoever it is, where we kind of sit back and we'll be like, "This is pretty cool, man. 
Like, this is pretty cool. And then it's kind of like, all right, back on the clock. You know, we, we kind of, you'll, you'll sit down and take a break and be like, man, I'm in the NBA Finals. Oh shit, timeout's over. You know, like, you gotta get back at it. Um, so, there aren't a whole lot of moments like that that I really let myself experience outside of set. Not that it happens all the time on set either. Um, but going to Man's Chinese Theater and having this big hoopla about what was great is it wasn't, it didn't feel like it was, it felt like it was glorifying and celebrating a collaboration. Not like, hey, Jared is here and Jensen is here. It's more like, what a neat world we live in where we've gone for 13 years and we get to do a Scooby-Doo episode based on a show that we've done. I'm animated and we're like here next to the mystery machine and we're about to walk in and the Oscars were here last week and now it's us on stage like talking about Scooby-Doo. You know, it was really cool. I grew up watching Scooby-Doo. Um, so it was a really surreal experience. And then they, the audience was, was filled with people. I don't know how you got tickets with you. It was like a lottery or whatever it was. But they had... I think they paid people to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why they debited the money? From it? Yeah. No, um, but they had, there was a row off to the side. It was like four rows back. And there were like eight empty seats they left empty for us. And no one knew. And so they started the show. And then they usher it. All the lights are dim. And they usher us in near a door. And so we're sort of like, we sit down. And the people are watching Scooby Doo, and like, it's like, ah! <laughs> it's like me and Jen and Jensen and Daniel and uh, Misha. And it, it was a, it was a pretty, it was a pretty singular um, experience. I remember at one point Misha uh, leaned over to me, and he's like, he just like, he had that like kid face on that he gets when he gets super excited about something, and he just he, like grabbed my arm and said, "This is amazing." <laughs> And like the joy in his face, like just it it, it told it all. And uh, yeah, that was it was pretty cool. We were all very tickled that that, that, that came together the way it did. And uh, and apparently they wanted to do more. Yeah. I'm not promising anything. I just know that it, it got such a good. Uh, response, response and, and it was received so well that uh, I, I know that that is a conversation that is being had. Whether or not it, something happens, I'm not sure, but uh, it wasn't like, well, that, that flopped. Bombed. No, they, they, everybody that needed to be pleased was very pleased, and so, uh, yeah, we'll see.